So my name is Jill Morton. I'm one of the clinical team at the River Centre for Traumatic Stress in NHS Lothian and as well as um, providing treatment for people who have a post-traumatic disorder, I've got a special interest in working with um, people who are in the emergency services whose role involves them in repeated um, exposure to potentially traumatic materials. So we've been working with the fire service and with some voluntary organisations who also have a role um, in emergency responding. PTSD involves a kind of cluster of three different kinds of reactions, which are all really linked to the memory not having properly been properly processed. So the first one of those is very commonly called re-experiencing or reliving. And that's when memories of the event or the incident come back into our mind. It might be when we're sleeping, and that can either be in dreams or nightmares, or it can be just randomly during the day. Now, sometimes that can be prompted by a specific trigger, something that reminds us of the experience, um, but other times it can just pop in anyway, and that's because our brain is trying to process this kind of raw data that's very vividly stored at the time of the trauma. Because that memory hasn't been properly processed, and our brain tries to digest it, but until it gets properly processed, then we have the other cluster of symptoms, which is called hyperarousal. And that basically means our system is still on, on red alert. We're still sort of in the alarm zone. And we don't quite know that we're safe and that the danger or the threat of the sort of um, traumatic experience is over. So we, we can be quite jumpy. We're kind of, and that often makes us quite irritable. It's very difficult to sleep because there's part of our brain that still thinks we need to be on red alert because there's danger out there. Um, we have a lot of muscle tension. Our heart might beat more quickly. We might breathe more quickly. All of those things which actually are part of helping us survive if we're in a scary or threatening situation, if they keep going after the trauma, then they really can cause quite unpleasant and distressing symptoms. As well as hyperarousal, sometimes we have this one called hypoarousal, which is the equivalent of the freeze or the fright response. And that's the play dead impulse. Um, and human beings can't really predict which one of those they're going to have. So we've got those re-experiencing when those memories are coming back into our head. And when they do, it really does feel like it's happening again. And we can get quite strong physical memories as well as the ones in our head. Um, and while that's going on, we might either be on red alert or we might be quite switched off, which is feeling quite kind of numb. That's the hypo one. And then the third symptoms are what we would call numbing or avoidance. And that's what people do to try and manage the other two it's really horrible having those memories coming back and it's really horrible feeling on edge or sort of detached all of the time. So people try to manage those symptoms by not thinking about it, not talking about it, if they can, avoiding anything that might remind them of it. And while that makes perfect sense, the bad news is that the more you avoid it, the more likely it is to come back into your head. So PTSD is when people are caught in that kind of negative feedback loop where they're trying really, really hard not to think about the awful thing that's happened. And because they can't bear thinking about it, it means that it doesn't get properly processed and it's more likely to come back into your head. And for as long as you're caught in that loop, then your body stays on a kind of red alert where you feel like there's danger everywhere. Um, and people get exhausted. So they flip. We, we talk about people being wired but tired, where you just can't settle, you can't sleep. You have a constant feeling that something else is going to happen, constant feeling of anxiety, which is completely exhausting. So then you just, you know, people feel wiped out.